Hello, this is your daily devotion for Friday, January 20th, and our reading this morning is Psalm 8. O Lord, our Sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth! You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and infants you have founded a bulwark because of your foes, to silence the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, and all that you have established, what are human beings you are mindful of? mortals that you care for them. Yet you have made them a little lower than God, and crowned them with glory and honor. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet, all sheep and oxen, and also all the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the sea. O Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Every once in a while, it's good to remind yourself of just how small and insignificant you actually are. We can so often get caught up in the details of our daily lives to the extent that we don't really understand. In the grand scheme of things, we're just tiny. We're specks of dust. And yet, we are beloved specks of dust. Because God has made us his people and has given us authority and power over so much of his creation. The psalmist is wondering out loud, why would you do such a thing, God? But he's not complaining. He's simply marveling at God's greatness and goodness and giving thanks that even though humans are insignificant, nonetheless, God loves us and cares for us. Remember that. Maybe you think you're ordinary. Maybe you think you're nothing special. Let me tell you the truth. Just about everyone is ordinary, and there's no shame in that. There's nothing wrong with being average. Nothing wrong with being typical. Like I said, just about everyone is. That's why we call them average and typical. Or in the language of our times, basic. Yet in spite of all this, God knows you and loves you and needs you to help run his kingdom. That's how important you are small though you might be. Let us pray. Who are we, Lord, that you should care for us? We don't do right by you. We get everything wrong most of the time. And yet your love is such that you can't turn away from us. You've given us power and authority in your kingdom, power and authority that we probably shouldn't have, but we are the ones best suited for the job. We just pray that you would make us worthy vessels of your love, worthy vessels of your care, and would teach us to look upon our power over this world, not as something to be exploited or abused, but something to be exercised wisely. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you again soon.